All right, everybody, this might be the last time you get to see a 2005 GMC Denali XL. Whoa-wee. Boy, this one's clean as a whistle. Black with the tan leather interior. Just sold it tonight. Customer came in and said, I need a car. I got $2,000 down, and she is getting this one right here. She's got six children. Man, they got a family. They need some room. So that's what you got going on here tonight. 6.0 liter Vortec up under the hood of the Denali. Let's go ahead and walk through, take a look. Got the fog lights, the chrome grill. You know, actually a pretty vehicle. It really is. It's clean, too. Got the six-spoke alloy wheels, running bolts. Got the little ground effects going on. You know, at the end of the day, it looks kind of like a Suburban. Really, the only difference is the front end. Got a little different set of headlights and grill. Got your third row seats. Got all your storage back here. I mean, that's really the main thing here with this is all this room in the back. Third row seats, all that good stuff. Captain row seats back here. You know, I mean, a new GMC Denali or Suburban, just like this, just more upgrades, a little bit newer, you know. They're all gonna have the DVD players up in the roof. Again, you know, it's uh, it's about the only American vehicle, or it, probably one of the only vehicles out there that you can buy that will hold probably seven to eight plus people in it. And um, there's just not really a whole lot of options for a uh, full-size SUV nowadays that can hold that many people other than a Suburban or a Yukon. You know, I mean, Ford's got the Expedition Max. They used to call it the EL. Um, you know, so Ford's got the Expedition. That holds a good bit of people. But for some reason, here in at least Charleston, in South Carolina here in Charleston area, you just don't see as many Ford Expeditions on the road as you see Tahoes and Suburbans and GMCs. You just don't see as many of them. Um, I've always thought the Expedition was a nice looking vehicle, but again, you just don't see as many of them on the road. So that's got to tell you something, right? It's got to tell you something. And, uh, you know, a lot of people love Fords, but again, if there's not as many of them on the road, there's got to be a reason for that. Um, but here, here's one, I mean, an 05 with 206K on the miles. Still selling for $69.95. And um, so it's still bringing some decent money at the car lot. And believe it or not, I mean, somebody can put $2,000 cash down on it. And uh, it'll still, you know, bring in some decent cash flow for the dealership over the years. You know, even though it's an older vehicle. I mean, it's actually, it's incredible that you can still sell one of these and finance it and uh you know be able to keep it on the road with this many miles so it's you know it's a good thing it really is it's good for the dealership it's good for the uh customer to be able to uh to get one you know and uh and be able to haul the family with six children back and forth to school to soccer to football whatever they got going on so anyways that's my two cents on it still runs pretty good too with all the miles on it we got a few little things we're going to fix on it that's why i'm parking it back here in the service area and uh once that's all done and taken care of we'll be uh wrapping her up tomorrow morning doing paperwork and this yukon denali that came back from a customer um just about a week ago we'll be back on the road with a new customer uh tomorrow morning so i mean it's just that quick how quickly these uh these vehicles sell you know and uh and and go out i mean it's just that it's incredible i tell you if you're in the car business guys and girls and you're thinking about starting your own car dealership if you can get into the buy here pay here game at the used car business this is definitely a great way to uh to to get vehicles out there on the highways for customers and be able to make a decent living for you and your family and be able to uh support employees and all that um it's just a great, great, great overall business. Again, I mean, what a, an amazing return on investment, you know, 
this car has been for the dealership and uh, and it's it's provided transportation for many customers over the many years that it's been out on the road so anyways there you go great vehicle great vehicle i mean i just can't share it enough i mean general motors has made a great vehicle that just keeps on producing and getting the job done for many years to go there you go all right guys an 05 yukon denali and today we're in march 2020 we're talking how many years 10 15 years old wow all right guys let me know what you think of it we'll see you soon